With the holidays approaching, we're always in search of some good gift ideas, so I thought I'd share a few tools and other products that I've come across uh, during the course of the year. And we'll start with a few things for those bird lovers in your life. You can never have enough bird feeders, and this is a platform feeder. It's a little bit different. Uh, you just pour the seed in here and it has holes for drainage, but this is for your ground feeding birds, uh, but it lifts their feeding site up off the ground so it's a little safer from cats and other predators. Um, another tool for bird lovers, uh, this is a, a heater for your bird bath so that you can enjoy birds uh, visiting your, your baths all winter long. And also this is a really fun gadget. This is a camera, it's called the bird cam, it's produced by Wingscapes and you hang it outside, it's weatherproof and it's motion activated and so when the bird comes and visits your feeder it'll take a snapshot and you could download it onto your computer. Tools are always a great idea and you can never have enough pruners in my mind. Um, and there's a couple uh, fun ones that I found. This is a little bit different uh, style. It pivots at the bottom and what this allows is for you to be squeezing with your strongest fingers rather than your weaker fingers. And so for repetitive cutting, it's a really nice tool that keeps your hands from getting as tired. And of course, there's different style pruners for different jobs. Uh, we have some smaller narrow blades, um, a florist's cutter. Um, if you like to take in cut flowers, this is a great tool. I also have a saw, and some of the features I like on this is that you could clip it onto your pants and also um, the blade slides out like that and it locks in place instead of folding. Sometimes I get, I don't like tools that fold in as much. I think I might pinch my fingers. So this is a different option. Here's a few great stuffing stockers. Um, these are seed balls and they're just a mud and clay mixture and in each ball is a packet of seeds rolled uh, by hand by people with disabilities. And so it's a nice special product. There are several different mixes, um, hummingbirds or sunflowers, and they pair very nicely with these uh, Atlas gloves that are just very colorful, but they're also um, they're nitrile gloves. They have a nice strong surface, but they're thin enough that you can feel what you're working with. Um, so I like these to allow me some good dexterity while I'm working in the garden. Another great tool is the pot lifter and our intern Annabelle is going to help me demonstrate. And this is used for lifting heavy items, maybe those big containers that you bring out uh, in and out each winter. And the way it works is you just wrap the pot lifter around your object and you snap it in place and it cinches back so if we pull this, it'll cinch up and tighten around your object, and then you just lift up. So it makes uh, lifting a breeze, and you could use it for just about any heavy object. Another great tool that every gardener should have, and something I never think of purchasing, is just a tote. I brought one of these home from our garden the other day, and my husband loved it. So uh, I think it makes a wonderful gift, and you could fill it up with some other stuff uh, for, the, for your gardener. I walked around one of our local garden shops, uh, Oasis, looking for some ideas of things that I don't normally think of. And this is one I found, and it's just a rain gauge. But it's something that I've wanted in my garden forever and I never think of purchasing. So it might make a good gift. And there's, of course, some more decorative styles. Uh, this one's very unique, very decorative. And there's a float that rises up after the rain to so, show you how much water has fallen. Um, but when it's, when it's dry, it still looks very decorative in the garden as well. Of course, books are always a great thing to give the gardener. And uh, in Oklahoma, every garden library should have the best plants, Garden Plants for Oklahoma by Steve Owens, which just shows a whole variety of plants that do really well in our climate. And it, covers perennials, annuals, trees, shrubs, just about everything. Um, some other fun books that I've found recently is The Garden in Winter. We don't always think about a winter garden, but this can help inspire some ideas to keep the, the garden colorful during the winter. 
And if you have an artist in your life, this is a great book that teaches how to mix colors in botanical paintings. Well, these are just a few ideas to keep in mind as you're shopping for the gardener in your life.